What's up, awesome people? So you might have heard a lot of advice saying you should do game jams. And I will say there's a jam going on right now. If you can do that jam, that's an awesome jam. Lots of jams can be good things in people's lives. However, they don't always work out the way you might hope. For some people, they're at a stage of life, a situation in life where they can't put the world on hold for a weekend, for 48 hours, for however long they got through the jam. In other cases, they've got a longer schedule, but they've had a bad experience in the past. Just talked to a guy the other day, had this problem where the teams didn't release anything. He couldn't find dependable people. Stuff just didn't get released. And he felt like he was wasting his time and energy. And it is so discouraging if you make music, you make art, you do some programming for some functionality, and then the game never releases. That can really set you back on. You had some good enthusiasm, you're going after it, and it just didn't happen. But now what if instead it didn't take 48 hours of a weekend where you had to put your whole life on hold? What if it didn't have the problem of projects didn't ever release? Because it was spaced out over time. So with as little as a few hours here or there, one evening or two a week, so that over two months, three months, four months, five or six months, the project would come there and release on time 100% of the time. That's what we do in Home Team Game Dev. And for some people, this sounds ludicrous when they first hear about it because it's so different from every other thing that they hear. But we've been doing it since 2015. We've released over 170 games. The proof is all there. You can go find out about it at hometeamgamedev.com about, you can see in each project, there's very specific credits, who has done which things. We've got some member stories there about different ways people found it valuable. And one of the things about this experience is that it doesn't require you coming with a bunch of background, but it's also something that's been very useful to people who have certain backgrounds, depending on what background you've got, what goals you have, we specifically designed your experience around what you want to get out of it. We figure out, and I mean we, quite literally, you and me, optionally, you can schedule Zoom calls with me, there's also no pressure. Not all members do, most members do. But as part of your membership in the group, you can schedule calls with me. We talk about what are the things you're trying to learn? What do you know already? I will help you design a project around something where between the start and the finish line, you are going to get experience doing that. You're going to have to solve those problems, get experience at using Blender or using Photoshop or making sound effects of a certain kind or a certain type of design challenge, programming challenge, the thing you want to do. The platforms you use are in Unity and JavaScript and in Godot. But within those, aside from that, it's solely driven by your ideas. You're not there making my game ideas where they're making your game ideas. And we specifically can build you a bridge where it might even be there's things you want to learn that right now you're not quite comfortable yet doing. All right, well, then we'll build you a stepping stone plan between what's the first project you could build that's going to set you up. So by the time you take on the bigger project, it's the next natural step. It's setting you up so that you don't have to look all the way up the mountain and say, how am I ever going to get up there? Because what I've been doing now for most of my adult career has been exactly this process for a lot of other people who are in situations strikingly similar to yours where they're trying to learn how to get there and we set them up so that they're halfway there, three quarters there. By the time they're taking it on, it's the next natural step in a smooth progression where again, it's not a drop everything. It's not a 24 hour. It's not a summer intensive boot camp or something. It is very much a spaced out alongside the day job, alongside your classes, alongside your other obligations and social opportunities in life. We can that self-care and life balance are super important. So it's also why we're fully asynchronous. There's not a thing where you need to be able to push everything aside for a certain time or day every single week. Instead, even our project leads do their recordings asynchronously for their weekly updates. People chip in in whatever time works in their time zone, their schedule. So we have people chipping in in the middle of the night from somewhere else in the world. We've got people who do it in their lunch break. We've got people who do it in the mornings. We've got people who on a weekend only or on a Wednesday random morning. It just happens to be what it fits for them. Whatever time energy you're putting in the game development, we can take that exact same time energy with no increases on top of it and help you get much more, much faster, better results in terms of released games where every single project you will see at home team game out of our 170 released has released on time in which you will have very specific credits about exactly what you contributed to it each project by the way it's not as if we have a team in a traditional structure There's a lot of things people come in here with the wrong assumption about how it works it's not like you get assigned a team it's not like we tell you who you have, what you have to do on what instead each week one week at a time project leads are given their updates to the current active projects you choose this week i feel like doing some sound effects here and some sound effects there or maybe I never want to do sound effects. I decide I want to do a little coding challenge over here. I want to get involved in some levels, but it's always practical. It's always solving an actual situation on a real project that again, cannot stress enough, we will release on time. We have always released on time and we teach you those processes about the planning strategy and so on, including with a new video course in there about how to be a project lead or a producer. Comes with membership along with all of my other materials I've produced over the years. Find out more about it at hometeamgame.com. Our membership dues or rates will be increasing for future members later this month in January, 2023 but haven't yet. And the way this works is once you've applied, not even become a member, once you've applied, 
you have locked in. That is the rate that you would become a member at. And you could keep that rate for so long as you choose to be a member with us. We've had people who've been a member for seven years now, happily, with no rate increases on them because they've been a member that whole time. It's up to you, but it's also speaking of which one week at a time. If you check it out for a week, in fact, if you check it out for two weeks and decide this wasn't for me, I'll just give you a full refund if you back out. No stress, no pressure. That's how we work. But there's no long-term minimum commitment. It's not like you have to pay six months up front. There's not some huge getting started fee. It is you will apply. I'll respond to your message and say, hey, you're invited. At that point, you can still decline. There's no pressure created because you applied. There's no cost to apply. But I'll say, hey, you've been accepted. Do you want to join us? If you decide to join us at that point, again, it is a one week at a time. Are you getting a value out of it? Is it doing the things you want it to do? And that's been the case for a lot of people. I believe it can be the case for you. I want you to try it. This will make it so simple to do. But find out more about it at hometeamgamedev.com. I hope you'll choose to apply today and lock in that rate before it goes up later this month. Thanks, everybody. Look forward to building games with you.